if tan theta plus sin theta is equal to m and tan theta minus sin theta is equal to n then prove that m square minus n square is equal to 4 multiplied by square root of product of m and n so let us consider left hand side which is m square minus n square according to the question value of m is tan theta plus sin theta okay and value of n is tan theta minus sin theta so on substituting the values of m and n in m square minus n square we will get m square minus n square is equal to tan theta plus sin theta whole square minus tan theta minus sin theta whole square so using the identity a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus twice of ab and other identity a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus twice of ab the left hand side can be written as tan theta plus sin theta whole square using identity identity a plus b whole square where a stands for tan theta and b stands for sin theta so the first part is tan square theta that is a square then sin square theta it is b square and then plus twice of ab which is twice of tan theta and sin theta then negative sign minus tan theta minus sin theta whole square can be expressed according to this identity a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus twice of ab so it is minus of now a square that is tan square theta plus b square which is plus sin square theta and then minus twice of ab which is minus twice of tan theta sin theta okay now, the first part is as it is it is tan square theta plus sin square theta then plus twice of tan theta sin theta second part after opening the bracket we will get minus tan square theta then minus sin square theta then minus minus plus twice of tan theta sin theta here tan square theta and minus tan square theta the result is zero sin square theta and minus sin square theta the result is zero so we can eliminate these terms the remaining terms are twice of tan theta sin theta and again twice of tan theta sin theta so the left hand side is twice of 2 tan theta sin theta that is 4 times of tan theta sin theta okay now consider right hand side right hand side is 4 times of square root of mn so let us first consider mn mn once again I want to remind you the value of m is tan theta plus sin theta and value of n is tan theta minus sin theta these values are given to us so after substituting the values m multiplied by n is nothing but tan theta plus sin theta whole multiplied by tan theta minus sin theta now we can use identity a plus b whole multiplied by a minus b is equal to a square minus b square where a stands for tan theta and b stands for sin theta after using this identity multiplication of mn will become tan square theta minus sin square theta all right so mn is equal to tan square theta minus sin square theta further tan theta can be expressed as sin theta upon cos theta so tan square theta is sin square theta upon cos square theta 
the second part is minus sine square theta it can be written as minus sine square theta divided by 1 now the numerator of these two fractions are same so the numerator is sine square theta we can take sine square theta as a common term inside the bracket you will have 1 upon cos square theta then minus 1 upon 1 further you can simplify it sine square theta then 1 minus cos square theta upon cos square theta okay so it is the value of mn further 1 minus cos square theta 1 minus cos square theta is sine square theta so mn is sine square theta multiplied by sine square theta then divided by cos square theta so this is the value of mn so value of 4 times of square root of mn must be equal to 4 times square root of sine square theta multiplied by sine square theta divided by cos square theta the squares and square root all terms are in multiplication or division so we can write it as 4 sine theta then sine theta upon cos theta 4 sine theta then ratio of sine theta upon cos theta so it can be written as 4 sine theta and then 10 theta why because 10 theta is equal to sine theta upon cos theta we have proved earlier that LHS is also equal to 4 sine theta 10 theta okay see the LHS is equal to 4 10 theta sine theta hence RHS is equal to LHS